this is the question let's talk about the question then i will say something he said milton good morning to you i want to apply to ireland can you suggest a good school and my budget is eight million naira now guys please listen to me and listen very well ireland is the only country in the european union that speaks english i mean full english so for you to get your pr and probably your citizenship you don't need to write maybe a foreign language so your ielts may be enough ireland also have a lot of opportunities because the pay is good the country is a good place though accommodation is very expensive but again it is a good place if you move as an international student now if you check schools in ireland you will notice that the cheapest school in ireland should be around i say the cheapest which means that if there are 100 school at least 90 or 95 schools should cost at least 10,000 euros convert 10,000 euros to naira you will see how much you need i don't want to break it down i want you to do the calculation so that you can see what i'm talking about if you do the conversion you will see that the money this 8 million you're talking about is too small now remember in ireland when you get a school in ireland before some schools used to ask for tuition deposit like part of the fees but now from what i know is that most of the schools will ask you to pay the complete money if your program is one year you pay complete one year if the ten thousand is for one semester you pay the first semester before you can apply for a study visa in nigeria now if you are going to apply for the study visa again you still need to show the embassy that you would have ten thousand euros in your personal bank account or in your sponsor's account now convert this other ten thousand euros to naira and see the equivalence in naira then convert the first ten thousand that you are going to pay as tuition before you can be able to show the receipt to the embassy to apply for a visa now i'm not saying that most of the that all the schools will charge you ten thousand i'm just saying that most of them charge from ten thousand and above because i was even checking i think ucc cork the cheapest program they have is 13,500 euros then i think uh university college dublin i think the cheapest they have is like 15,000. it all depends again if you are going for postgraduate or maybe a bachelor's or master's program so guys if you look at this you need to first of all pay the tuition before you put some money in your bank account now this money this 8 million will it be enough it's not enough ireland is a good country but the money you have is not enough this is fact i'm telling you there is no two way about it if you even take a look at the countries now in the european union you will see that almost all of them are very expensive so moving abroad now is becoming very difficult so that's why i keep telling people that you have to act now you have to be strategic in order to really succeed in this jackpot stuff so guys if this is your first time here please do not forget to subscribe all right when you subscribe make sure you turn on the notification bell so that when i drop the next video you would be the first to watch thank you so much now if you are new here, my name is Milton Fonkwa. Somebody gave me a super thanks and I want to thank the person immensely. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. I saw it. And if you want to support our channel, you can also give me a super thanks below. Thank you so much. For those who want a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me, please book from the video description box and I will reach out to you immediately. Now, let's talk about these opportunities and today I will be talking about how you can move to Ireland. All right, I'm going to be calling it Ireland. I know some people call it Ireland, but no, I'm going to be using Ireland. So we will focus more on Ireland today. I will talk about some schools, application process and visa process. And I'm doing this video because somebody actually asked me this information. And I think many people need to get the information as well. So let's talk about some few schools if you want to study in Ireland. If you intend to study in Ireland, first of all, make sure you 
you make research your friend. Research is very important and until you do your own research before you can actually apply for schools in Ireland. And first, remember, like I said, research should be your friend. You need to check the universities to be sure of which school you want to attend depending on the requirements, depending on the tuition fee these schools offer or depending on even the courses or the programs you want to go and study. So these are some of the things that you need to put into consideration and now after you check these schools you have to apply but first which are some of the schools you can check? A list of schools here I'm just going to give you a rundown on some few. I took a Dublin Business School. You can also look at the University College Dublin. You can also look at UCC Cork, that's University College Cork. You can also look at the Cork Institute of Technology, May North University, the University of Galway. You can equally take a look at uh, Dublin City Universities and you can look at the University of Limerick. These are some of the schools in Ireland I would recommend, I mean Ireland, I can recommend for you to take a look at them. And please remember, I said tuition fee is very important okay so if you want to study in ireland make sure you put tuition fee into consideration because it's so so important you need to put this i know why i'm insisting on this now when you check these schools find a program you apply to them the next thing is what an offer letter an offer letter is going to come to you from the school officials but remember before you even apply to this school and get an offer letter you need to meet requirements if you want to go for bachelor's programs you need to supply what your high school certificates right your YEC, your gco levels and a levels probably some schools may not accept your neko but again these are the requirements you need for your bachelor's degree program addition to maybe your recommendation letters and maybe a CV and a motivation letter. If you are going in for a master's program, you will need to supply your, a copy of your bachelor's degree certificate. That is document number one. Then you will also need to supply your CV, which is the curriculum vitae, document number two. You will also need to supply a copy of your reference letter. Some schools will ask for it, but others may not. That's basically motivation letter and CV in addition to your bachelor's degree, transcript and certificate. So these are the documents. Now, when you get these documents, you now apply to the school. Now, it will take some time. And remember, let me not forget, English proficiency is very vital when you are looking for admissions to study in Ireland. Yeah, some schools will insist that you must show them this document. And if you do not show them this document, it is a big problem for you. Some will accept Duolingo, but many institutions do not accept Duolingo. So guys, pay attention to this. Now, after you've submitted those documents, your offer letter is now ready. The next step now is for you to do what prepare for visa and apply visa application terms with owns with its own responsibility as well and there are a couple of documents you need to check which include the visa documents your proof of funds and also some little things you need to know in terms of cash visa to ireland um, ireland takes at least five to six weeks and if you are lucky yours may come after one week or two weeks or three weeks it all depends like i said if you are lucky but you should always expect from the fifth week the fourth to fifth weeks and above so that is the reason why i'm encouraging you to always apply early so that you get your results early and also remember cameroonians the irish embassy is not in cameroon lies you cannot apply for study visa from cameroon the embassy is found in nigeria then after this um, I think after the visa, you cannot move to Ireland. But let's take a look at uh, visa requirements. What do you need for visa? You need, um, of course, there is no interview. I can say 90% of people who have applied for visas, study visas to Ireland, they don't do interview. And right now, as I'm talking to you, I do not think there is a school in Ireland that is still open and accepting applications. Mm, you may still get a school which may be ending June. But again, I will encourage you to check properly because I'm not very certain of uh, this information. But again, check all those schools very well. But it will be difficult. Let's go to the documents you need. You need your pay slips. Okay. If you are the one sponsoring yourself or if you have a sponsor, provide your pay slips or let your sponsor provide his or her pay slips. This document is very important because it shows that you have been working in a company or with a company and you actually have payment 
proof or evidence to show that you have been receiving salary. This is your pay slip and they must be for the past six months. Even your bank statement it has to be for the past six months. Then if you are, you are using a sponsor, let your sponsor give you a sponsorship letter, okay, to state that he is the one who is going to be sponsoring you. And if you are looking for samples for sponsorship letters, please check online. You are going to find a lot of them all right then you decide on which one to take or you you have to write a personal statement now in case you are sponsoring yourself it's still not the best idea i always tell people to always supply a document from their sponsor to show that they are also co-sponsoring them like if you are sponsoring yourself at least let your father or mother be a co-sponsor but in cases where your parents are not available you have no choice rather than to sponsor yourself but just show evidence of how you got your money or where you are getting your money from it's so important then also employment uh, letters if you are working bring your employment contract if you have a business bring your business documents or you have all the tax papers for the business because you have to show evidence that you are paying tax if you want to move to another country you are telling the visa officer that you have a business and you have not been paying the tax it doesn't make any sense and then you also need a your passport data page very important you also need medical insurance I think the amount should be between a hundred to two hundred euros I'm not very certain I have a video I did about this thing did it extensive video so please put it into consideration and also try to also check other requirements things might have changed so when you watch my video make sure sure you go back to the website to check again because things usually change i can be saying these things after four months before you know they change the procedure again or maybe other things are added to the system then appointment fee you have to pay an appointment fee remember this appointment fee is not a visa fee and there are other petty petty fees you have to pay when you arrive the embassy and also remember to get a bank attestation from the bank now remember i will end this video by telling you that before you apply before you even move abroad before you think of applying for your visa start by learning a trait a skill all right you may learn it information technology or maybe just do some courses for cyber security uh artificial intelligence these things ai these things are going to help you a lot then also learn how to braid hairs learn how to do salon work okay learn how to do barbing it's so important even if you can learn how to do trading it's so important ireland is an english-speaking country of course a member of the european union and it's easy for you to move in between but again having this information is very important and remember it's an english-speaking country so i would just encourage you to put more effort and learn a trade because it might help you when you go in there and also remember jobs are also available part-time jobs for international students but the only problem is usually accommodation you may find it difficult in dublin to get accommodation not like difficult but it's so so expensive however places like cork are also very affordable so you may consider studying in cork than in dublin or limerick it depends now on you but if you have a means to stay in dublin go to dublin because of course the capital city has more opportunities than in the smaller areas and remember i forgot to mention this most schools in ireland will charge you um a, your money for one year some will ask you to pay complete tuition fee for one year before you can apply for the visa others will tell you to pay 75 percent but most schools in ireland don't even charge 75 percent now so if you really want to move to this country you have to be sure to pay make sure you have enough money and if you look at their programs postgraduate programs bachelor's and master's program many of them start from like 10,000, 11,000 euros upwards okay upwards i mean upwards some schools don't even have programs for ten thousand yeah i think just few schools have programs for like ten eleven thousand like just maybe one in 13 schools so you have to check them out then also remember that at the end of the day you will have to you will be asked to pay one year tuition before you put money in your bank account and how much has to be in your bank account according to irish government you need at least ten thousand euros remember this is not northern ireland in the united kingdom for traders so guys put all this into consideration then you may consider other countries as well if you think that it's going to be hard for you also consider other countries tuition fee range from 10 to 20k it also depends on what you are doing and like i said you have to pay these fees before you apply for the visa so take a look at all of these and we will meet again in another one in my next video i will be talking about opportunities you can get in euro 